Hey everybody, welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our August 10th fishing report for the Jersey Shore. Uh, guys, don't forget, send us your fishing reports for your chance to win our custom largest, prize package. Custom prize for the largest fluke contest in August. Um, we got stuff from Bougie Baits, Essence Bucktails, uh, Dabba Custom Lords, and the Jersey Boys stickers. So you'll definitely want and that. Also, you get to pick anything from our store. Oh, that's right. Which, yeah, we forgot. And also, I, I, I wanted, somebody reached out to us this week. I think it was actually Armin who we'll hear a report from. The store is currently not up below for some reason. So I'll be looking into that and uh, we'll get that store back up again so you guys can go check that out. Uh, yeah, and also, we uh, not only are we have our flute contest, but we're also going to be having a uh, 5,000 subscriber giveaway. We recently hit 5,000 subscribers. So thank you so much to you guys. We haven't done one of these giveaways in a long time. So I think this is definitely warranted. We appreciate all the support, all the support we get. Uh, so stay tuned for that. In the weeks to follow here, we'll have uh, how you can enter and also what we'll be giving away. So uh, stay tuned for that. And with that being said, we're going to get a report, right? That's right. All right, good. We got Mike Hoven. He was out surf fishing LBI. Uh, said the day started very slow. He was picking through micro fluke, uh, but then turned into what turned out to be a great day when he landed his surf personal best, this 24 inch uh, fish that was released to fight another day. Mike was using five inch gulp jerk shad uh chris kubwana was uh, out on saturday with his son cameron fishing the clam stakes in the great bay they landed one fluke at 18 inches on live peanut bunker um dozens of large spots and sand sharks uh chris went out again on sunday with eve to the barnegat ridge uh when eve landed her first false albacore on a troll so it sounds like they had a good couple days on the water so if the albies start coming in man that's that's a good time make sure you hit those when you when you can because they're they don't last long so. chris was also trying to get some uh, some blowfish and he said they're just not quite here yet so uh, hopefully soon they yeah we we did that a couple weeks ago with our boys and we nothing, way too nothing. early yep so. yep mike kenny was out in uh with his buddy in the raritan bay uh using alan's custom jig when they landed three keepers, one at 18, one at 25, and one even larger that takes the lead for our largest flute contest. So congratulations, Mike. Hopefully, hopefully you hold on to that, but I really do want bigger fish caught. And we can't tell you the size. So we can't, no, this, so. this may or may not be the second take because <laughs> somebody, somebody. <laughs> somebody may have slipped the size <laughs> on that one. So uh, with our, under our new rules, we can't tell you how big it is yeah. until, until the end. Right. So, and finally, I have Ralph DeJulia. He was fishing out of Point Pleasant on some rock piles using four-ounce jigs with pink shine gulp. Uh, when uh, they landed a two-man limit, the largest two fluke being a four-and-a-half pound and a five-pound fluke. So, not a bad day on the water. Not at all. And I have Armin, who was fishing a little egg inlet during the last hour of incoming tide, and he was able to land this nice 24-and-a-half-inch beauty weighing in at five-and-a-half pounds. Uh, he was able to catch uh, two 17-inch fluke as well. Then I have Lisa Hosgood uh, was able to get out with Al Gindale and Dez and Bryce Spokus. They were also fishing the lake inlet uh, using various colored gulp. And they brought in a 17, an 18, and a 20-inch keeper. Uh, so there's some really nice uh, uh, fish. Uh, also, uh, just literally we're getting uh, live uh, reports. Uh, right? Listen, this is this is live reports. Uh, uh, <laughs> Armin's fish was caught on a tsunami teaser and a three-inch pearl white shrimp. So I tell you what, you don't get much fresher than that right there. That was that was live reporting. Armin, thanks for uh, hitting us up there, buddy. <laughs> uh, then, um, oh, so yeah, so sorry. Back to Lisa Hosky. There's a 17, 18, and a 20 inch keeper. Uh, so that was also the inlet. Seems like the inlet still does have some decent fish in there. That's a little egg inlet. Uh, then Brandon Kirk, who was fishing with his dad when he was able to bring in this nice 39 inch cobia. Uh, they were fishing the wrecks off Atlantic City. Brandon said the cobia swam up within six feet of the boat. So he pitched a half ounce white bucktail to the white uh, grub and the cobia hammered it. So that, that looks like a lot of fun. There's a uh, cobia from the catch. Uh, then I have an honorable mention uh, because we forgot to get him in the report last week. Chris, very sorry about this. That was my fault. It was, I wasn't going to say it, but it was <laughs> his fault. It was his, his job to put that report in there. Chris Kroniak was able to get out with his mom, Barbara. Uh, they, they were fishing buoy marker 132. Chris said that he got skunked, but his mom was able to bring in two keepers and a short. They were using minnows during the outgoing tide. So, we, uh, as always, we appreciate your uh, support. Make sure you hit us up with our reports. Uh, all of our contact info is down below. And uh, we will see you next week. Good luck, guys.